Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 3 of Foundation. I hope you're all doing well. I'm, well, I'm happy if you've come back. I hope you've been enjoying the series so far. I definitely plan to uh, expand on different types of games to be honest. But anyway, you remember last time we were back off so we built our little forestry area and we've got our little... Our little warriors. Let's just put an extra two on there, why not? I think one definite thing we definitely have to increase on is our food consumption. Because the last thing we want to do is people to starve. Because that's not going to end well, because they'll all end up leaving. But I don't fancy... I don't fancy losing all my people, to be honest. Also, we got our people back. What I might do is I might build us a little market just over here. Because I think it'd be quite nice to have quite a, like a diff just a just a different area in general for our market, to be honest. But obviously I want to unlock Fisher's Hut. We can make loads and loads and loads of food. And we can have it just across here. Looking out over the beautiful seas. Looking at the beautiful sunset as it comes down in between okay, let's let's carry on. <laughs> so, obviously, we should get that gold very soon, and a free territory. That's the free territory. Let's get rid of that, let's build here, let's build, let's just build another gather, no, wrong hut. A little gathering hut, right there. Right, cool bean, cool bean. Right now, let's pick up this, let's move this, basically. Can't I pick this up? Oh, nope, I can get rid of it though. Let's pause this game quickly so I don't cause any massive loss of money. So we want to go to Monument Market Food Store. Let's have it around. Let's have it here. So if I have a food store there. And a food store. Let's say this. I'm just going to use green. Yeah, green. I think green signifies food. One green tent there. This is just more for future referencing, so I know in the future. So that I can go there and there. Let's get a food store sign and plop it just right there. And let's get some... Oh, what you call it? Let's make it so people can't just walk in. That's a fence to make this look nice and dandy. Nice and dandy. One thing we're definitely going to have to try and build at one point though is a mana. Because obviously a mana will increase our money income. Well, not our money income, our, um, oh, what do you call it? Our money, our gold capacity, because obviously it works as a treasury. Add some benches. I think I know what I'll do. Uh, let's have some benches against this wall. I gotta have these looking nice. I do not like letting it look horrible. Nope, nope, on a bench. How much do you bench, bitch? Um, boom. Have some barrels, it just looks like. They've got loads of goodies all stacked everywhere. We're naturally just hoarders. We're just bad people. <laughs> so minus these two. And we can start the construction of our new little market. So let's pause the game and allow them to build it, shall we?
What the hell? You got Florence? Is that Papist Steve? What the hell type of name is that? For our manor though, I think we could build our manor just around here. I think it'd look quite nice to be honest. Hmm. That reminds me. Uh, what's our residential currently? Right, so let's... Let's expand our residential all over here. Also, I don't want to go into the ocean. Let's just make it just just in case so the market isn't within that kind of bound, right? All this. Make it look absolutely gorgeous, eh? And there we go. We can now get Harry to start selling berries again. If I'm correct, I can now unlock fishing hat. Oh yes. So let's get some fishing huts up, shall we? So if I... Wait, can you place them here? Ah, okay, so they literally just, just go on the edge of the cove. I think four should be enough. But definitely when someone gets here, we can definitely expand on this. So let's get some fence quickly. I'm just going to zone myself up a little area. A bit of fence here, a bit of fence there, a bit of fence everywhere, hey? So that can be our entrance. I need to move that. I could always move stuff at the end of the day. It's not the end of the world. And there we go. It does look a bit retarded. I'm just going to do it like that. There we go. There's our little market area set up. That is awesome. And obviously we now have all of our builders carrying on with this. I think what I'm going to do as well is... I'm going to store some stone and some wood. Actually, let's store planks and polished stone. I think it would be better to store more of the refined materials. It would probably do a lot better. And there's two fishing huts. Let's assign a player one. Let's assign another player. I'm sorry, but I do not have any bread to give you, sir. The bread is a you problem. I think a nice thing to do is if I could just try and claim all of this little area just here. And just be like a little mini coastal town. It'd definitely be very trusting, interesting to see where we can get. So that's a uh, another Fisher Hut bill. But I need more workers. I need more workers. It's not a pain. So 
dun 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 dun. Come on, you villagers, join, 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 join. And they can be my next two fisher men. Sorry, all we sell is fish now. to work on my gold. My gold consumption has gone down massively. Sell the fish. Everyone buy fish. Buy. Buy. Here we go. We now have all of our beautiful little fishermen. Is nice. Jesus, that's definitely um bumped up our budget. So our villager consumption is 272, but our upkeep is 343. Still so currently I am losing money. Ebay. I'm gonna get an extra sawmill down because you do use a lot of planks, I've noticed, much later on in the game. So raise your villager status to commoner. I was going to say, how does one do that? But it literally just might just be upgrading. So let's build our little manor. Have a core. Let's do that on both sides. I'm crying like this. The way this stuff attaches sometimes can be really annoying. This how the treasury would work. <clears throat> oh, they do look a lot better when I like that though. Oh crying out loud. <laughs> Nope, stay where you are. Go down one. Let's add a door right here. So this is going to cost me 655 planks. That is a hell of a lot of planks. But either way, start construction, shall we? Right, let's have a look at my budget. Oh. So, my income has now increased. That is very, very good. Right, let's assign Rupert to another market tender, shall we? I'm still having one selling berries and one selling fish. Fish, fish, fish. 
Everyone likes a good fish. And let's start producing some more plants. And you have ten, you have five, you have five, you have ten. I gotta. This is gonna take six hundred and fifty-five fucking hell. That is so expensive. But it's definitely increased our splendor. So. I'm not new parts of the Lord Manor. So this thing is literally going to produce 22 splendor on its own. What is a lot of splendor? And I now have two more new villagers joining. That is what I need. Because they can both be working at the sawmill. Hell yeah! <laughs> So we are now doubled our stuff. Oh. I want to deploy my troops right away. Right, let's see who we're going to sell. We're going to sell Hans, Otto, John, Amelia, Amelia, whatever it is, and Edith. Go, my peasants. Go forth and win the battle. Gonna be one big task for all my builders. <laughs> Look at the mortars running around. That ram and a fucking ram. All right, there we go. Let's put those two on there. And we should have tons and tons of planks being made. Reminds me, did I ever actually max out this one? No, I need one more person for a gather. Ah, the next person to come can be that person to suffer. Suffer in hell! I'm only kidding. Or am I? Well, I have loads of planks stored away, so... It isn't anything too bad, but this thing is going to cost 83 gold to maintain. I think it's one of these things where it's going to cost a lot of gold to maintain, but it would also increase. Wow. There we are. I don't. Oh, I think that. I don't know. I think that might be your previous. But this is your current. So I am now nearly, near enough tripled my income. By literally just selling fish and berries. Well that is definitely one way to make some extra dosh. So you want bread. I do not have any bread, I'm afraid, so you can suffer. Comes the money, 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 money. <laughs> oh, why are you fishing on the same spot? Ooh, that is. <laughs> the vibrating boat. Not that you see every day. Taking them some time. 
Right, I needed one more person here. Anyone unemployed is now becoming a builder. Those soldiers are back from the mission. Are they really? Hmm. Why does it take so long? I can hire two more. I will definitely do that very, 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 very soon. And there's our gold, even though we can't actually hold it. That is depressing. That is very, very, very depressing. Building the second one now. Another one. I, I don't think. I think they, the way they work it is they only really want one type of food. Like these guys don't seem to be eating berries anymore. Like they just seem to prefer Harry. Harry over Rupert. Maybe Rupert needs to be... Maybe it's just Rupert needs to be better at his job. Maybe they prefer the person with better stuff. Hmm. Well, we should find out very soon. Right, where are these next two guys coming from? There they are. One, two. One, two. There we go. We now have some more soldiers. Everything is definitely expanding, though. So we have 219, so we need another 300 planks. Wood resources are starting to get very, very, very low. Guess these two don't really care about people anymore. Look at them. They're miles away from each other. It's kind of cool. They got their little hats. I see you over there. What are you doing? Oh. So they can chop away at the training dummies while overlooking the Lord's Manor, while overlooking the village, while overlooking the ocean. <laughs> they can overlook everything. Literally. So let's have a look at my X budget so far. So 1940. Do I find that absolutely insane? I don't know, I'm not 100% sure how the budget panel works. It seems a bit weird. One thing I'm interested in is when will they upgrade to stone? Because I know they can upgrade their house to stone. And it makes the desirability a hell of a lot higher. It's 
Arsenal and is bringing over 50 planks. So my happiness is currently also at two to our lacking housing. Hmm. Let's get oh that's full. I will turn you into a builder and you into a builder. Because then most likely I'm sure only at least three of them could max on map. No, four. Four people can work on map. Okay. I thought you wouldn't be able to like that many. It's quite a few. Oh, no. You got five working on it. Six working on it. There we Well, you should know one thing. They're definitely built in no time whatsoever. <laughs> Look at them all, Jesus Christ. Your very own manor. Need more planks. More planks! Give us the more. So I need 175 more planks and then I've got it all built. Awesome. I really wish someone would start kind of building on some of these houses now. People are lacking housing. <laughs> but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to end it here for now. Well, I hope you enjoyed episode 3, and I shall see you guys next time. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I shall see you in episode 4. Until then, see you next time.